Good morning. With everything that is going on outside today and the anticipation of that over the course of the last few days, I couldn't help but smile just a little bit as I was reflecting on this morning's gospel lesson. Christ having just preached to the masses. Penny, thank you. Christ having just preached to the masses, tells the disciples to go onto the boat while he dismisses the crowd, blesses them, and sends them home. After doing so, he went off and prayed by himself. The disciples sitting on the boat, the wind now taking them as the sea itself started to get a little rough, were sent to the middle of the water. I don't know if the winds were a category one hurricane, but nonetheless, it reminds us of the power of nature and the roughness of the sea at that moment. And so Christ now appears to the disciple coming towards them, walking on the water, and they, as seasoned fishermen are terrified. They think that they see a ghost and they cry out in fear. And Christ, seeking to calm their fears, tell them, it is I. And Peter, speaking on behalf of all of them, looks and says, if it is you, Lord, beg me to come out to you on the water. Note, notice the test that he places on Christ. But no hesitation on our Lord's part. Simply the invitation to come. And so Peter steps out of the boat into the rough water and proceeds to walk on the water, coming closer to Christ. He notices now what he is doing. He starts to see the waves, the wind, the fact that he's standing on the water. And he starts to panic and he starts to sink. And in sinking, cries out to Lord, Lord, save me. And Christ reaches out his hand, brings him up out of the water and places him on the boat, then admonishing him saying, O oh, men of little faith, how long am I to be with you? This is such a beautiful gospel lesson in, in pericope because there are so many aspects of this in which we find ourselves every day without necessarily realizing it. We are on that boat, on that ship, Right? heading down the path toward salvation, being carried not by our own accord, but by uh, the winds and trials of this world. And there Christ is, always in our midst, always beckoning us to come to him. It took great faith for Peter to take the step out of the boat, that was not a step of faithlessness. That was a step of faith. And he began to walk towards Christ because his focus was solely on him. And when our focus is solely on Christ, then all the other tumults, all the other winds of this world that seem to distract us, that seem to want to try to take us far off course mean nothing. Uh, it may have simply been a strong breeze. At various points in our life, it's a category four. It's a category five. As we feel just tossed, turned, lost, confused. And in the midst of all that, 
if we find that quiet place to be able to pray, even if we simply find the strength to be able to cry out to God so that we hear his response, what, telling us to simply come, to come to him, to find strength in his loving arms, to find peace even in the uh, tumultuous winds of this life. We have to find within ourselves the courage to take the first step out of the boat and to truly fear not and to recognize in whose presence we are, who it is that is calling us, and where it is we are going. And to not worry if we have the strength, if we have the courage to do so. To just simply, as unsimple as it is, go to him. And if our focus remains on him, soon enough we will be in his loving arms. And even if we get distracted, as did Peter, even if we feel that we're beginning to sink, even if we feel that we are somehow overwhelmed and are being overcome by all that surrounds us, to again cry out to him those beautiful words of St. Peter, that prayer of, Lord, save me. And he will reach out his hand, and he will bring us to him, and he will place us in a place in a, in a, place of refuge, refuge, and the winds will stop, and that which is attacking us will no longer be attacking us, and we will find grace, peace, life, and strength in his presence. Such a powerful and beautiful message on this day, and uh, one that um, hopefully we will be reminded every day, not simply as we step out of the church and are beaten by the earthly winds of this afternoon and tomorrow of this um, tropical storm. May God continue to grant us uh, courage to take that step and the strength to find the words to cry out to him and to offer him glory. Amen.